another Emperor's Champion. Fine by me. I hope you guys never stop asking for these because I do enjoy doing them. This one was a request based on the new art in the new codex. I think it turned out pretty well. Let's go over it. So the base miniature, base kit for this was an Assault Intercessor from the new Necrons and Primaris box set featured here. What we did first was remove the chest details and then we added some additional plates you can see on the chest where we also added a gorget and we added some additional plates here. If you would like to know how to do that process that is available on the Patreon where we essentially take one plate and split it into two. So you can see this plate and this plate is actually the same plate this was just added to differentiate them and make it look like it's two different layers. The arms were made with a um, Stormcast Eternal um, arm set from uh, this box set here. This is the great sword and the arms, matching arms. The arms were separated from the biceps. The biceps were discarded and instead some pins were added into the uh, chest where I was able to pose them appropriately, glue them in place, and then make sure that the forearms matched. All right. The base for the biceps and shoulder and armpit were built up with milliput and then covered in milliput green stuff. I'll take these off. These are just temporary. The client is going to actually finalize and choose the pads that he wants. The uh, components here are just sticky tacked in place. Anyway, so you can see a little bit greater detail there. These were actually built up with milliput and green stuff. And then uh, smoothed over if you'd like to learn how to do that. That's also on the Patreon where we go over joint rebuilding. The head was the... Uh, Emperor's Champion head that came in the new set. However, we omitted the laurel that sits on top and uh, floats over the head. Instead, added some of our own laurel leaves, as you can see here. That is also on the Patreon process for that. This jeweler chain is a one millimeter chain available on Amazon. This attaches to the back. A little hollow was carved out of the arms to allow the arm to allow that to pass over. This was glued in place and then glued here and another piece here to give it the look of a complete necklace. The holster was cut in half so that I could access the cloth to finish. And uh, once it was done, the holster was glued back together. And then this piece of uh, ribbon or cloth, however he wants to paint it, was added. The grip is from an old, old second edition, I think, bolter pistol, which has been sitting in my bits box for, oh, over a decade. The miniature was actually sculpted, most of it was put together um, with uh, the pin here underneath all this pinned into my vise, my pin vise. Once I was ready to pin it down, I pinned it down through the Base, and then gap filled all of that with a rock made out of black milliput, which I made to, made sure to stick to the foot as well, boot, and that makes a very solid platform, but also allows him to be dynamic. 
right? Now the cloth was built up in several stages and it was finished using the complex cloth technique which you can find also on our Patreon. The cloth has a main body which was carved down after it cured and then strips were added and blended in both on the left and the right side to make sure that the motion of this miniature was maintained. So the motion of this miniature, essentially the wind is coming this way as he is moving, right? So anything on this side is going to be whipping that way, and if the client adds anything on this side, it would be wrapping around that way because he's pushing through the air this way, right? Um, his body mechanics would suggest that his head is going to tip a little bit to his right back this way. So we wanted to maintain that as well. The uh, neck was also sculpted in with green stuff. The sword is from the new Emperor's Champion kit. These hands are from the Stormcast Eternal. The blade right underneath the Quillons, right underneath the guard, was severed. And then the grip was also severed and shortened because the amount of grip already in these hands was a little bit long, so we needed to shorten the actual grip. And then we just, with a pin, connected everything so it's all pinned in nice and then gap filled with some uh, milliput and green stuff and rebuilt the details there on the grip. The chain originally on the original piece wraps around to the right hand, which makes sense because the strong hand, the right hand, is on top, right? So this is his strong guiding hand for the, <clears throat> for the uh, grip on his sword. However, that chain actually was blocking the face, and so we didn't really like it. So instead, we decided to make the chained hand the left hand, and then just wrap it around this way, which gets the chain out of the face. Um, and also makes sense. It doesn't mean that just because his left hand is down here that he, it couldn't be up here if he changed his grip. Space brains are supposed to be ambidextrous, right? Additionally, the... Uh, pistol is in a position where it would be uh, accessible with a cross draw from his right hand and if his right hand were chained up with a with a uh, well with a chain um, that would make using the pistol a little bit difficult so the pommel was drilled out and then a large um, chain link was cut and pressed into place and then gap filled with some green stuff you can see there, on the back as well. And then the smaller chain was severed on one end, slipped over, and then glued in place. So we were just connecting chain links, and then this was wrapped around the forearm and glued in place. And this will be shipped just like this so that the client uh, can paint uh, paint it how he wishes. Again, these were kind of placeholders. He can choose different uh, shoulder guards if he wants, different pauldrons, and a different backpack. Uh, this backpack is from the new upgrade kit with the Templars. Oh, there we go. And this gap, um, he may gap fill that. He may put the banner that's supposed to go there. All up to him, but if, in case you were wondering why I left those gaps and why it's like this, it's uh, for ease of paint and so that he can kind of choose what he wants to do after... after uh, receiving this piece. So there you go guys, I hope that was interesting for you. If you'd like to learn to sculpt and build like this, go ahead and check out our Patreon at patreon.com slash lastlightcreative where we have tons of hours of tutorials on how to do just this. Thanks so much guys. Oh, 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 oh.